Hello everybody. I'm here to uh, show off a new game which currently has no name so I'm just gonna call it Game 1. <coughs> it's basically a uh, strategy game, text based, uh, very 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 simplistic. Not gonna lie but as of today there's already a new version and I'm gonna be releasing that probably tomorrow. But basically I'm gonna do a little quick gameplay and show you what it involves. So number of players one. Yes, you can generate a random country. This isn't this is the kind of tech based strategy game where there's not actually any real countries. There's only a generated one, so you don't have to generate one though, and I'm not gonna do that either. So I'm just gonna have uh, I don't know what country should I have? Hmm Russia. Why not Russia? The Ru Russian Empire. Russian. Yeah, you have to enter the full name, the short nation name, and the demonym. That's like the country adjective. Currency, yep, ruble. Leadership title, emperor. Number of random nations. Yeah, these random nations are randomly generated gibberish nations. Uh, an example would be, hmm, what was a good name I remembered? Hmm, can't remember any now. But yes, they are uh, randomly generated. For the, per for the sake of making this quicker, I'm just going to have five playing against me, and there's now six nations left. So now we're playing, and uh, there there isn't any sort of help command, so I'm going to have to say the actual names of the commands. There's the build command, there's the research command, there is the what is invade command, but that comes in slightly later. You need a certain amount of money for that. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. There are uh, five kinds of buildings, farms, banks, building firms, businesses, and laboratories. Farms produce food, and you need food to, you know, grow your population. If you have no people, it's game over, boy. You have uh, banks, which give you money, and with money you build other stuff. And you have building firms, which build either a farm or a bank per turn. And then you have businesses, which build one building firm per turn for free and the building firms build the farms and banks for free too and then you have laboratories which research either food or money each turn once yeah that's about it anything else I need to tell you? no oh yeah farms cost a thousand whatever currency you have banks cost also what the, whatever currency you have building firms cost ten thousand and businesses cost a million since we have no farms and no banks and nothing will be most, and we have 10,000, it'll be most logical to build a firm. No, you can't. Sorry, that's in the next version. You have to enter build and then you choose what to build. Yeah. So now we wasted our money, I mean, spent it well on a building firm. And we have, as you can see, it already built a farm for us. Since we have no money, we can just keep skipping the turn until we. Okay, and it just keeps building farms. Now we have three farms and one bank. So now we just wait until we have enough money to either build another firm or a business. And we wait. And then we can build another firm to speed things up. Things get interesting, sort of, when you invade. But in the next... Okay. A group of 130 immigrants has arrived in the Fivotolandish Great Union. So there's a nation called the Fivotolandish Great Union. Firstly, secondly, yes, there's also random events where you can, where your population can grow, or your food can go down, or you can get free money, stuff like that. And another firm for me, please. Keep building, keep building, keep building. Okay, I'm probably just gonna skip until we get a business. Okay. We've accumulated 1 million Russian rubles, so let us construct a business. Yep, we got a business and it gives us a free building firm now each turn. And now we shall grow exponentially and the Yekastani Imperial Duchy has just lost 43,269 food units. Good to know. Perhaps they'll die off soon. No, they haven't. Oh well. Well, there goes another business for me. And I'm probably going to skip until we get laboratories. Or actually, let me first show you that the research command actually works. And each research unit gives you a 1% bonus to... Each food research unit gives a 1% bonus to food, and one 
it, logically, unit of uh, money research gives you 1% to money gain. And that's why if you have thousands of money research units, that'll be very helpful in uh, growing your income. But nevertheless, let's keep going. I'm gonna skip until we get a laboratory, or can afford a laboratory. Okay, we got enough money to have a laboratory now. Five... 5,123,283 Russian rubles, so let us build a laboratory now. And as you can see, it now produces food and money research units. One per turn randomly. Okay, due to an industrial accident, one of the Senate of Anifana Land's building firms has been destroyed. Well, good. The more our opponents get screwed, the better. Oh, oh, gah. Due to a group of religious fanatics, one of my laboratories has been destroyed. Very good, I love this, don't I? Game, any game that I make, always just wants to screw me over. Anyway, another laboratory, I, thankfully, we can afford. Ah, well, that's a glitch. Thank God it's fixed in the next version. But yes, it's supposed to be 10 million that it costs, but for some reason it lets me uh, invade it. 3.4-ish million, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna invade a nation. Let's let's go with Yekekistan. We've known about them for a while. There are arch enemies. The Russian Empire has invaded and successfully annexed the Yekistani Imperial Duchy, the Serene Caliph of all places. It's an Imperial Duchy. You'd expect an Imperial Duke, but you get a Serene Caliph. Yep, that's the kind of logic my games have. Uh, you can have funny situations sometimes, but nevertheless, Yekistan has gone to hiding. Okay, game over for them. I win. I I get more territory. Current because it's all abstract and text-based. There currently is no sort of territory, but I intend to make this game actually have you know world map sort of thing, not just always abstract. But yes, when I annex, I get all their buildings, <clears throat> and that's about it. That's why I went from 173 building firms and two businesses and one. Lab Okay, they didn't have any laboratories, but that's how I went from 173 building firms and two businesses to 344 building firms and six businesses, if you exclude all the pro buildings that are actually produced for free. A group of 253 immigrants that arrived in the Senate of Keksabia, well, good for them. Invade them, why not? The Senate of Keksabia, Keksabia, has been invaded, and their bureaucrat has gone into hiding. Wouldn't expect the Senate to be a bureaucracy, but oh well. And uh, Emex, Emexistan, the Caliph. Okay, it's a national commonwealth, but you have a Caliph. Oh well. Yes, as you can see, it's supposed to be 10 million. That's why I have negative money. I mean debt. Okay, Fivotoland. I remember those guys. The administrator of Fivotoland has gone to hiding. Good. And now the last opponent. Is there any command I neglected? No, there isn't. So we can just invade Anifa land. Anifana land, sorry. And send the superior duchy into hiding. And I'm the only nation left. The game is over. The Russian Empire is the only remaining nation. So yeah, the game will continue until there's only one nation left. And currently, it's not really good, but as I said, firstly, there's a new version. Secondly, It'll be updated, and uh, if you have any suggestions, do comment. I wouldn't mind answering any questions, and yeah, I think that's it. So, uh, the link to download the game is in the description, so do enjoy it. But uh, that's all for me, so bye-bye.